So, oh, last night was quite something, wasn't it? I got a bit of a headache after the rain and everything, but what a game, what an experience. Hearing that crowd atmosphere was absolutely amazing. And uh, Melbourne could have won if they knew how to kick straight. So, <laughs> we'll put it that way. But today, Carlton v Sydney. So yesterday was about a guy giving me a ticket. A decent gave me a ticket yesterday for free. Today, this one I paid for. I was in Alice Springs last week when it went on sale. And I joined the queue, I waited until it refreshed fully for about half an hour. I got a ticket, entered my payment details, then it asked my address, typed in my address, time I ran out. I lost my seat. So I had to refresh again, go again, and it said tickets are gone. So I just, I, I, on the off chance that someone would pop up, I just refreshed about 200 times <laughs> over like two minutes, and one popped up. And now I got my seat. So, uh, yeah, I, I got a little bit fortunate because I almost lost out on the ticket. But, uh, yeah, um, some of my subscribers think I'm a Carlson fan. Some of my subscribers are convinced I'm a Carlson fan. I'm a Hawks fan. I'll, I'll always be a Hawk. But people think I'm a Blues fan. Some people. It's like a handful of people. It's like they're going to have a field day with this vlog because I'm going to be betting for Carlton to win this game against Sydney. I want Carlton to win because, one, I like him more than Sydney. Two, it's their first final in 10 years, so it'd be good to see them win. Three, they'll create a great atmosphere, so I'm, I'm here for the atmosphere. Four, Melbourne v Carlton is money. <laughs> that, I mean, I'll be, I'll be in it back in England by then, but still, that's a game that would be incredible, especially considering how good Carlton have been the second half of the season compared to Melbourne's loss to the last night. That could be a really good game. So uh, Melbourne Carlton would be better than Melbourne Sydney. We just put it that way, so... I'm looking forward to uh, <laughs> to the game tonight, and I want Carlton to win, but I'm not a Carlton fan, okay? So stop, stop saying it, because it's, it's, not, it's not true. Maybe they say that because I dislike Collingwood, and I have things against Richmond as well, but I like Melbourne, and their enemies are Carlton as well, so, you know, it's it's just, I feel like they're, they're, they're reaching, they're reaching a little too far, in my opinion. Anyway, yesterday I did a lot of adventures, like a 40 minute vlog, half of it was AFL. Today, not much adventure. I'm chilling in the main city. I'm meeting up with Dario Joe. Met him twice now. He came to England a few years ago, gave me a hawk scarf. So I returned favour last year when I visited and gave him a Geelong scarf. Um, I haven't got any gifts today, but if, if he gets me one, that's a bit awkward. But I'm, I'm coming back in March. So I'm watching you, Dario Joe. If, if, if you get me something, I'll turn the favour in March. But yeah, meeting up with him. Uh, he's a Geelong fan. Um, so it'll be interesting to talk about uh, how both our seasons have failed. <laughs> and uh, then possibly I'll meet um, uh, Daryl as well. Um, Dazalinko. He's been subbed since our first day of video. But he's got somewhere to go before the game. Like hours before the game. So either I can meet him, meet him or I can't. But um, yeah, he might or may not be in the vlog. But we'll see. Not doing much exploring. I've got to go down and buy some water and food. I might head down to my next hotel to see if I can pay for it now, because I haven't paid for that yet. Uh, fairly cheap, £45 a night, that one. But probably nowhere near as good as this. Uh, if you, like, watch the vlog where I'm uh, flying to Melbourne uh, from Cairns, the hotel I should, the hotel room is crazy. And the hotel is called Pegasus Apart Hotel. Look it up. It's high star. It's, it's expensive. But for some reason, I got it for £67 a night for three nights. I don't know how I got that. Maybe the travel agent had a promo or something like that. But this is... This is worth, like, this usually, a room like this, I got a whole apartment, I got two bedrooms, three beds, a bathroom, I got my own dental toothbrush and toothpaste kits provided, I got a razor provided, like, I've got a whole kitchen as well, it's just like, this is an entire flat, the fact that £67 a month makes, £67 a, a night makes zero sense, based on what I've paid for hotels in the past, and just generally, it's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah. Um, um, the reason I'm telling you now is because I'm leaving tomorrow morning before this vlog goes live. So place here, City Mart, right next to my hotel. They got Prime in there. Only the white one, but they got Prime. That's quite, that's quite interesting. I tried the white one though. I'd rather have the, uh, you know, the pink one. The pink one's the best one. My hotel is actually uh, like a, a, it's a flat. Like most of it, most of the floors, the higher floors, are apartments, and the bottom floors are hotels. That's a hotel room. It's interesting. And on the first floor. It's a hot tub of swimming pool. My word, it's chilly. Should I have brought my jacket? I was going to come back and get it for the Carlson game, but I don't think I need it now. Uh, it feels like London. Uh, great to be back in London again, guys. I'm wearing navy blue trousers, a uh, blue shirt, a uh, blue hat, and I thought I had to balance it out. I don't want to convince even more people that I'm a Carlson fan because I am not. So I'm balancing it out with a red hoodie, you know, yesterday's hoodie. So, yes. So, people are not going to know now. They're like, is he barracking for swans or blues? This is confusing. So I go to this chemist warehouse every day uh, to get water. 
Flagstaff Park is right there, station is right there. Six minutes from the MCG. Not too bad, eh? Nice and convenient. In Victoria Mark is in between my hotel and my next hotel. So I had to just, I got distracted from looking around. I was looking for that last shop, I was looking for it, and it said that it isn't the last where I looked. Um, I was looking for the, the fridge magnets I bought last year, I bought some of them, the Australia shaped ones, for the places I went to. So I, was went, I went there to look at, oh, is there one for Cairns, is there one for um, no, Northern Territory? There is one for Cairns, but not for Northern Territory. There is one, but it's not Australia shaped. I want the Australia shaped one to match with my other ones. Uh, it's not there. But we'll try again next year. Get the Cairns one, but you know, if, if they're three dollars uh, per magnet, but four for ten, I'd rather get four for ten. And if you don't have the other ones I want, then it is what it is. I come back. Very windy. I'm starting to feel raindrops. That looks like the top of uh, the Gherkin River in London, except a lot shorter. City Mart, right next to the chemist warehouse I go to near my hotel they got prime um, they've got the flavor i haven't tried yet which is orange and also like i never tried the ksi flavor but that was limited edition and the yellow yellow lemonade one but that one's us only so i can't try that one but the og flavors it's just orange i haven't tried so it's in there i'm gonna go get that and i'm also gonna get a story watermelon so uh, yeah i didn't come out just to say that i came out to check like what, what i haven't tried because i've kind of forgot i'm just like did i try the green one yeah i did i tried in england like a few weeks ago so yeah, I'm gonna get the orange one right now and the pink one because it's so good. That looks, that looks nuts. I love it. It looks amazing. I know, right? You got the knocky. Yeah. Welcome to the vlog. Yeah. Hello. I've worn my whole phone hoodie. It's a yeah. long one. Cool. I should have worn it. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, I thought I'd come back here and chill for a bit. We were talking for like 90 minutes, which I'm glad for because I had no plans today. As aside from that, I've just been walking around uh, and it's way too windy out there. I just thought I'd come into the warmth of the hotel room. It's been cleaned as well. So uh, yeah, uh, that was fun. Uh, we talked a lot about a lot of things. Hall 4 in Geelong, Arsenal, the, the A-League, uh, my plans to visit Australia again in March, which is happening. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of things we talked about and uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a fun time. So And the food was good. The food was good. So I uh, picked a good place. He didn't bring a gift, neither did I, so that's good. But he did pay for the bill, which means I got to return favor in March. All right, I I got to find a good place and book a table, and I got to give, pay the bill as well. All right, it's, it's only fair to be equal. So uh, yeah, uh, that was pretty fun. We're talking about the vlogs as well. Um, he's watched a few of them, including the Barry Reef one, one I'm very proud of. Down the street gave me a DoorDash code. You want the code? Let me know, because <laughs> I can't use it. I tried to lo log in. But it's, I got a UK phone number, so it's not under that because I'm they don't live in the UK, so I can't do anything. Staff station. Now a normal man would get on the train here, but I'm a normal man because I'm going to walk 20 minutes just to say Southern Cross. We meet again. Looks a lot more delightful when it's not raining. I don't know where I'm sitting. Um, I thought I was sitting in Gate One again. I must have misread it or something, that's what I told Darajo, but actually, I double checked, I'm sitting in the Shane Warne stand, uh, not in Ponsford this time, uh, gate 5, level 4, um, Q2 to 11, whatever that means, that's like 9 different blocks, but Q2 to 11, row X, seat 15, so if you want to have some fun with the map, then that's where exactly where I'm sitting. Oh, we got some ice cream again, this is more peaceful, today was chaos, it was like a stampede, <laughs> getting into the stadium, everyone was trying to get in, avoiding the rain. And I went the wrong way, so I got even more wet. Just, you know, just me things. This is a great view. Yesterday was too, but I kind of looked on like the very front row to be honest. Uh, I still appreciate it though, obviously. The view's not, even though it's further out, it's not that much worse. Um, so I kind of prefer this to uh, right at the front. So yeah, this is great. Obviously I prefer level one, but still for level four, this is pretty damn good. Today, 
since 1918.
That was quite the start. The first two goals they scored straight away. The roar of the crowd for those first two goals. Something else. I didn't capture it. I wasn't recording. Cause both goals happened out of nowhere. So it is what it is. But it was uh, an incredible atmosphere to start off with. Then for most of the first quarter, the Swans were better. Uh, but they were missing a lot of shots uh, throughout the whole first half. First and second quarters. Had a lot of shots to Swans. Missed a lot. A bit, they looked much worse than Melbourne yesterday. Melbourne missed a lot of shots yesterday. They missed a lot of shots and they could have been ahead quite easily and they won. Carlton scored a third goal in that quarter. Considering they scored the first two really early, you know, one more goal in that whole quarter, I think it kind of tells you um, that Sydney did have a lot of control but they hit a lot of behind. So it is what it is in that regard. But yeah, Carlton uh, in the second quarter got uh, more goals, got a decent amount. And uh, now it's a bit of a mountain to climb for Sydney, but it's not over yet. Um, it's not an impossible margin, it can be done in one quarter, but uh, yeah, we shall see. It's a pretty good game so far. Not as vicious as yesterday, uh, the Carlton fans are very vocal, but they're not like very infuriated or, you know. But uh, we did get a couple moments where they were laughing quite a lot. I thought they were stressed out, but they were laughing quite a bit. The two misses in that first quarter, how you miss from there, from so close hitting the post, I do not know. And in the second quarter, it was a goal anyway, but it's 2,000 players. They're through on goal, he just got to kick it. He handballs it to his teammate, causing unnecessary pressure. I guess it's just final pressure, just pa he just panicked, I guess. But his teammate got it in. They had to score review it, of course, but it was in. So at least uh, they you know, survived that. But both incidents got a lot of laughs from Carlton fans. I, I expected Fury, nah, we got laughter. Which is fair, because they were funny misses. Well, one wasn't a miss, one in the end was fine. But the first quarter one, oh my days. I liked it. What are you doing? The fact that we hit the post from point blank range was really funny. But yeah, aside from that, Carlton have been better overall. It's just that the Swans could have been ahead by now, but they've missed a lot of shots in the second quarter as well. But the first quarter especially, there was quite a lot of shots they missed. And uh, ultimately, Carlton have been better in front of goal, accuracy-wise. And uh, they have punched a little bit, but I think they're playing a team that's not too confident. Yeah, the Swans did make the eight, and they qualified really well, and they recovered their season despite you know being in the trenches. But so were Carlton. Carlton were down and out as well, and they recovered their season. Carlton, for me, just looked stronger going into this game. And uh, I think it's showing right now. I think the quality is showing. Um, I think Sydney will be back next year, but this year I don't think they're prepared for the finals. It's just the, the, that's just the way I'm thinking, especially after last year. Um, but Carlton obviously have not been there in 10 years, haven't got the experience that's, that the Swans have, but having said that, doing alright. So yeah, still a whole half to go, a lot can happen, but I fully expect Carlton to win this. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. But we shall see. I want the Blues to win. I mean, let's be a bit more serious here. Um, it should be Adelaide playing here today. Um, I don't want to be controversial, but it's true. It's true. Just saying. Anyway, yeah. Go Blues. I'm not a Blues fan. I'm a Hawks fan. I promise you I'm a Hawks fan. But today I'm back for the Blues. And uh, let's see how this game out. We need to continue and stop panicking because even the Blues could have scored more goals. But the Swans should be looking at themselves and kicking themselves because they have enough opportunities here to be ahead. The Swans have shown that they can, it's just that they can't bloody shoot straight. Oh yes, just for me.
It says Richmond Station via Brunton only. What does that mean? <laughs> Should I just go to Jollyman just to avoid the confusion? Be a six point win.
as expected, is chaos. I'm bloody, I've escaped into the hills. Don't know where I am now. Bloody hell, where's the state? Where's Eva Station? I can't find anything. Anyway, um, I was half in Sydney at half time. Uh, apologies for that, but I saw what I saw. They missed a lot of chances in the first half, and they continue to miss chances. I think both teams actually made it harder for themselves than it could have been. Carlton gave away the ball quite a few times, a couple of times giving a goal away, quite literally. Um, so they made it hard for themselves. Um, Sydney as well, when they had opportunities to do it, half the opportunities they, they squandered them. You know, they squandered quite a lot of opportunities. Both teams could have been ahead. I mean, Sydney could have been ahead, but Carlton could have been further ahead, if you get what I'm saying. I think both teams made it hard for themselves. Uh, I get Carlton have been lacking experience, and I get why they would panic, but they panicked a little too much. And the Swans, well, I think they experienced it a little bit, uh, but in the end, the quality wasn't quite there. Again, if they could kick straight, they might have actually done something a bit more today. But yeah, Carlton again made it hard for themselves because they were better a lot of the game, but they missed quite a bit. That miss at the start of the third quarter, what on earth was that, mate? It's like Swans had more of the misses, but Carlton had the worst misses of the game. What on earth was that at the start of the second half? My word, and then Sydney's uh, got a couple of goals like straight after that. I don't know if you guys saw it on TV, but one of the umpires slipped. It's quite a funny moment. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't notice on TV, we definitely noticed it in the crowd. You heard the crowd going way, now you know why. Um, one thing I love about uh, <laughs> the crowd on both sides is when they're calling for the ball, like holding the ball. There goes in for the tackle, there's no clear disposal. The way the fans shout ball collectively is just, like you hear it when you're watching it on your at home, on your television or whatever, but hearing it echo 100k around the stadium is quite special. <laughs> it's quite special. There were not as many Swans fans, but there were still plenty of them. There was enough to like, to be heard. Like some of the goals they scored, you'd hear a significant roar. <laughs> that atmosphere is bloody special, so <laughs> I gotta tell you. Yesterday it was Collingwood, today it's Carlton. Although Melbourne and Sydney do also create a good atmosphere themselves. Um, but it's quite clear which crowds are a bit more vocal than the other. Melbourne v Carlton is going to be a ripper. <laughs> I wish I could be there, but I gotta go home. Melbourne are better than Carlton, but you know, last year went on straight sets. This year lost in week one again, mentally. That, could, that can definitely affect you. As for Carlton, yeah, sure, they, they struggled a little bit, they made a bit of a few mistakes, but they won the game. Uh, first final in 10 years and they won, so that's gonna give them some confidence. Momentum's a big thing. So, next pick is huge. Of course. <laughs> stopped at Flinders. Yesterday it just carried on uh, and I got off the Flagstaff. This time it's going backwards back to Jollymont. Right, sick. So the trainer took me here, it's going the other way now. Brilliant. A lot of shouting and swearing at the end of the game. I wish I recorded more of it but uh, I really should have. I should have got a camera out like three minutes to go or something because I was checking the clock on the A5 at the same time at the end so I was just like I gotta know, I gotta know. But yeah, there was a lot more swearing at the Carlton players than the umpires because they kept making mistakes, making it hard for themselves. So, and the, the Swans' last goal, literally just all, all Carlton's are doing. So, and not just the last goal, even <laughs> quite a few of the goals. The Swans did well, credit to them, they chased and chased, but Carlton just about did enough. And I think I'm a Carlton fan even more now, but like, I'm just happy for them. They've suffered a lot. So there's the part of me and Dojo. <laughs> Met at. The reason I wanted Carlton to do well in, in this game especially is because, you know, their fans have suffered for so long, you know, they've had so much trouble for so many years, they finally look good and now, you know, they're doing well, they've won a final and everything, it's just good to see a team that's been so bad for so long doing well. I can appreciate that, doesn't mean I support them, okay? So let's stop this nonsense. Unless it's a rival, of course, that will just apply it. North Melbourne can continue being bad forever, as far as I'm concerned. If it's not a fierce rival with Hawthorne, then sure, if they've been bad for so long, I want to see them do well. It's the same thing with St Kilda. 
They've not won a flag in how long? I want to see them win a flag, okay? Doesn't mean I support St Kilda, but people are using this logic to say I support Carlton. I do not support Carlton. Stop it. I'm not a Carlton fan. I'm a hawk. I'd always be a hawk. So stop it. We are the navy blues. We're the old dark navy blues. We are the team that never let you down. We're the only team all Carlton loves. Give all the champions they like to send up. Keep your end up. Playing. It's the famous old dark blues. What are you looking at? I ain't no Carson fan. Shut up. I'm just singing a song. I'm just, uh, I'm singing along. What are you, I'm fitting in. What are you talking about? You call this a Carlton fan? Ha! Huh? Does that look like Carlton logos to you? Allegations are absurd. We are the 